everybody, Rose Matter here. Welcome to my Halloween special Let's Play. This is World of Horror, which is a Jinji Ito-inspired roguelite horror RPG that just rolls right off the tongue. So this is a very interesting style of game. This is kind of like those 80s adventure games, which I've never played before. Uh, it's a little overwhelming. I've tried the tutorial a couple of times and only managed to successfully complete it once, which is a little concerning. But uh, we are going to go in, we're going to do a full scenario and uh, see if I can make it to the end. Probably not, but uh, we'll give it a try. Okay, so we want the extracurricular activity, which is a standard playthrough. We've got difficulty at normal, uh, combat normal, all that stuff is basically kind of just the baseline. City of Shiokawa, Japan. Something strange is happening in our town. Road figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also new unknown threats. Old gods, malicious eldritch beings who ruled the Earth eons ago are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and in realms beyond. An old train slows down and stops at its last station. The end of the world is at hand, and you finally arrived in the doomed town. Okay, this one is the Eternal Web uh, Ch Chika, Chika Adarasu is once again awakening from its slumber. Blinded by its impossible to satisfy hunger, it has started to tear down the walls of its cocoon prison. Stop it before it devours us all. Old gods rule, you can't escape from combat encounters. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. So, I guess this is the thing, this is my first time doing this, so... I guess there's random rules that happen, maybe, with each of these, um... Scenarios? Hopefully you guys aren't afraid of spiders! Because it looks like there's gonna be a big spider monster. If I even get to the spider monster, we'll see. Well, that's not good. You can't escape from combat encounters? Dang. Alright. So, as you can see, it's a lot. There's a lot to take in. A lot of stuff. You've got, you know, my character's stats and everything. So, I'm gonna go ahead. It's not my first time playing, but I could use all the help, you know, I can get. Okay. Main game screen. You'll interact with your surroundings, solve mysteries, and fight enemies. World of Horror has RPG elements, and your attributes are described by six basic stats. Move your mouse over them to learn more. Strength, Dexterity, Perception, Knowledge, Charisma, and Funds, representing the amount of money you can spend. Stamina, it represents your physical health. Once it reaches zero, your character dies. That is your reason. It represents your stability and will to confront the horrors. Once it, re once it reaches zero, your character collapses and the game ends. Okay, and then there's like all of this stuff. My inventory, my spells... Oh boy, it's a lot to remember. Okay, that is your inventory. You can keep up to four items. Click here to inspect, use, or equip anything you pick up. There are three equipment slots. Equipped items do not count towards the four item limits. A, weapon used in combat, B and C, trinkets and armor. As you progress with your playthrough, more helpful tips will appear. Would you like to turn the combat tutorial on? Okay, so since I have done the tutorial, I do kind of have a basic idea of the combat. So we're going to go ahead and not worry about that. Okay, and another thing too is because I heard this game is quite difficult, I did kind of read things about like little tips. And one of them was to go to your home right away. Oh, cool, there's something, like, right away that might be dangerous. You check your mailbox, it's empty. Back in your home, you think of your next move. You are not currently investigating any weird mystery. Recent newspaper clippings and notes collected in the next room should point you in the right direction. Alright, inexplicable and morbid events have been plaguing your town for some time now. You've marked down five of them, hoping that there is something connecting them. You can tackle these five mysteries in any order you want. Beware, your decisions will haunt you and influence yet unsolved mysteries. Alright, well before we do that... Let's look around here. Okay, so we've got an empty bottle. So yeah, they recommended going to your home first and just looking around. 
in case uh, there might be some stuff that you might want to grab. So, so far I've got an empty bottle. Not much, but it's something. Okay. Rotten report of a rancid ramen? Macabre memoir of morbid mermaids. Alarming account of abnormal arms. Sorrowful saga of the moonlight sailors. Horrible history of household hell. Uh, let's go. Hmm. Let's just go in order, because I'm boring like that. Rotten report of a rancid ramen. Out of thin air, a brand new ramen restaurant opens in town. It's adored by everyone. Once people take a bite, they can't stop. Day and night, the queues stretch out the door. The shambling customers stuff themselves dish after dish while the blind owner sits silently behind the counter, grinning and polishing his gleaming knives. You are determined to discover what makes this ramen so enticing. What is its true power? Dog meat? Human meat? Flesh of the gods themselves? Alright. To advance this mystery, investigate the circle location. As you progress, the location and rules may change. You see, once again, a lot, there's a lot of information here. Definitely more than there was in the tutorial. It is a little overwhelming, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, might as well investigate the apartments. Okay, a woman jumps out of her apartment covered in gore. Between sobs, she tries to explain what happened. She was taking a shower when suddenly the shower head started spraying blood. A trail of blood leads into the dark apartment. Uh, should I check the bat? Let's calm her down. Although she's probably gonna be a monster, we can't run away from her. Charisma check fail. When you touch her shoulder, she gets hysterical. Her reaction shocks you. You move away as more neighbors enter the corridor. Minus two reason. Cool! Man, when I was doing the tutorial, it just felt like everything I did was wrong. <laughs> and it definitely feels like the case with the, um, you know, with these types of games. It seems like nothing you do is right. Okay, wandering through an empty corridor, you find an old vending machine. You don't recognize the brand of soda inside, but you really could use a drink. Let's get the cheapest one. Uh, dexterity check success. You buy a can of off-brand soda and take a sip. It tastes a little odd, but you enjoy the drink anyway. Plus five experience. Alright, cool. You did something. But even if you do something right, it feels like it could come back and bite you in the ass. Like I said, it tastes a little off, so I'm gonna be like, what if there's something in there that's going to curse me later? Um, so... Okay, the only true way to investigate is to get to the restaurant yourself. So downtown, home, school, hospital... Forest, there's a lot of stuff to check out here. So does it still want me to investigate the apartments? Dumpster dive, discard two item cards to complete this quest. And then there's like quests as well. It's just, my goodness, it's, whew, it's a lot, it's a lot. Okay, neighbor, cost doom to enter, chance for an ally. All right, let's give it a try. You knock on your friend's door and wait. I'm really busy today. Let's hang out some other time, okay? So, Doom is another thing. Um, I'm not quite sure what Doom is. Because things can cost you Doom. Um, I think Doom is like... Is it your sanity? No, your reason is your sanity. Sorry, guys. I'm just like, ah. Okay. You start a new... Do -do -do. Alright. Investigating staircase. So, like, do I just keep investigating... Oh, cool! There's a spider. <laughs> it's like, do I just keep investigating the apartments until the game tells me not to anymore? Putting your hand in the hole was a bad idea. Seeing the big spider escape, you hope it wasn't poisonous. Plus injury. Cool. Okay, now it's telling me to travel downtown. So, so, so far, what I got from the apartment was... I got bit by a spider. Uh, I lost some reason, and I got some cheap pop. Worth it! Oh, police station. Manage combat encounters. Experience equals funds. Costume to enter. Funds equals items. Okay, we're just going to go downtown for now. Alright, you're pleasantly surprised to meet your old friend while waiting for a train. She's undoubtedly changed a lot since you've last seen her. These days, she's moderating a web forum dedicated to the paranormal. Maybe she knows something useful. Let's invite her for a coffee. Oh, sweet. Seven plus experience. In between conspiracy theories and Bigfoot sightings, you hear a worrying rumor about an old god slowly awakening to rule the Earth once again. Could this be the reason for recent horrific events? Another thing that they recommended in the tips was to try and get allies, and I was hoping I'd be able to get an ally, but 
I guess not. Oh, the smell around the restaurant is overpowering. Grease rot and... Is that blood you smell? Okay, through the dirty restaurant window, you notice a shady-looking man wearing a jacket covered in strange symbols. He stops in front of a house, visibly nervous. Before he enters the house, he turns around as he's checking for any unwanted followers. What could it mean? Okay, so I... I don't know how to get the perks. I saw that sometimes in the tutorial where he needed certain perks. Okay, follow the weird man, call the police, do nothing. Um, hmm. Against my better judgment, I'm gonna follow him. <laughs> cool, I got plus two doom. The door is locked, but you think you can repeat the knocking pattern the suspicious man used. Nothing happens. Oh man, so far I don't think I'm doing very well. Oh, another spider. You wonder what kind of animal the spider caught in its web. You scare away the annoyed predator and rip open the cocoon of re reveal a human finger. Plus two reason, plus item. Cool, I got a finger. Awesome. Oh, and then up here, so you also have your things here where you sustain injuries. So minus one dexterity, minus one perception. Damn, that is... It's like it's rotting my skin. Guess it was poisonous after all. So I'm like, if I don't take care of that, is that just going to get worse? So a rock ring. Jewelry, plus one strength, minus two reason. Surprisingly heavy. Hmm. Well, if anything, I think I can sell that. So I keep wanting to, I want to keep investigating downtown. So I'm going to the restaurant right now. Oh, the bite mark is getting worse with each day. You discovered a small cocoon you found in a rock ring. Okay. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Stop reaching your hand into holes, girl. What are you doing? Now I've got another one. Now, have a, now I've got a bite and an infected wound. Hopefully it'll go away on its own. Ugh. It, it probably started off as a bite, didn't it? And then over time it became infected. Okay. Okay. Shoot. This probably My health is probably just going to keep going down. Okay, investigate lab. Oh, cool, it's getting, like, bloodier now. With a slick hand, you fill a vial with the soup and walk out without tasting the weird dish. And now there's a lab. Okay, with the pulling of some delicate strings, you get the ramen into a lab. While handing over the gathered material, you hesitate. What should you send to the laboratory? Um, I guess that's the only option I have. A near day later, your friend rings your door. Her face is pale and in a shaky hand, she holds an analysis sheet. You usher her in and bolt the door. You feel ill looking at the charts. While they couldn't identify some of the particles, they did discover a highly addictive drug in the broth. The ramen restaurant must be closed immediately. <laughs> what if that's all it is? Like, it's resolved, I just call, you know, um, what's it called? Like, health services or whatever? And I... Oh, that's literally what happened. Okay, a week later, police and an official stand where the ramen restaurant used to be. Nothing remains but a gap in the street and aimless, confused customers. That's literally was my joke. It's like, what if, uh, what if I called and got the restaurant shut down and that was the end? Okay, and that's kind of what happened. Uh, you'd like to believe that was the end of it, but snippets in newspapers from other cities unsettle you. Brief articles about an exciting new ramen restaurant opening and its mysterious owner keep showing up. You no longer eat noodles without feeling ill. Rotten report of rancid ramen ending B. Rewards for solving this mystery. Okay, so that was easy. <laughs> I just got bit by a shit ton of spiders. That was the takeaway from this. Okay. Alright, the old god stirs. Click here to reveal its effect. Roads leading out of the town were closed by the police. You'll have to find a new way out. A feeling of paranoia and discomfort is almost palpable in the air. As Doom progresses, Old God's influence will slowly corrupt and change this calm seaside town. Alright, let's go back to my home. Can I... Is this thing still moving? Yes, it is. Oh, inside your mailbox you find a small key. What is it doing in there? And another thing they said too was to take baths. Get back to the, take it. Oh, choose an action. There we go. Take a bath. The shower will help you calm down and do wonders for your sore muscles. What temperature should you set it on? Oh, cool. Okay, so cold water, extra reason. Water, uh, warm water, small experience boost. Hot water, extra stamina regained. Fill empty bottle with water. Oh, yeah, that's right. I've got the empty. Can I do both? 
Okay, so, um, what's my stats? Because I think my, my stamina is okay, but I think my reason was down a little bit. Status. Oh, no, they're actually, both of them are okay. So, why don't we go ahead and let's fill the empty bottle with water. Okay, so I've got it. I wanna- you could fill this bottle with something. Yes, I know, I'm trying. So I've equipped it, right? Is that what I need to do? You fill- okay, so I have- well then it's not an empty bottle anymore, is it? Okay, let's do warm water and let's get an experience boost. Change clothes. I don't know if this is really gonna do anything, but I can't help it whenever there's an option to change, you know. Oh, inside the figurine you find some money. Well, there we go. It's always good to look around in these types of games. Oh, neat. Gym clothes. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Okay. Which I think was literally what she was wearing. Watch TV. The TV host is gutting a big octopus. At least that's what she claims because there's way too many tentacles. Can I call people? Oh, oh, I can. Uh, but I don't have any numbers right now. You don't have any VHS cassettes to watch? There is a whole lot in this game. It's, it's actually pretty crazy that this is still, like, in beta. Considering how much you can already do. Uh, watch TV, take a peek through the peep- Oh, that's- Oh, that's cool. Neat. Yeah. It's always- Good idea to look through peepholes. Okay. Is there anything else on the TV? We are shocked after what she did. Her voice was always so calm. Okay. So let's go ahead. We'll choose another mystery here. Alright, let's do Macabre Mem Memoir of Morbid Mermaids. The janitor was obsessed with mermaids. He's collected every scrap of the legend about them in the school basement. Now his mind has snapped. He's decided it's time to make one of his own using unfortunate students' bodies as materials. Alright, one thing everyone at school is talking about, another girl from your area has gone missing. Could there be anything connecting all the missing people? I should investigate downtown next. Alright, let's go into the item... storage. Doggo! Oh, that was another thing too. They said... Having a flashlight was good. A flashlight, a compass, and a weapon. Which I have... None of those things. So let's sell the rock ring. Okay, so let's buy the flashlight. Oh, minus four doom to do shopping. Damn, okay. Alright, let's investigate downtown. Hopefully I find a- I come across a weapon at some point. Hearing footsteps, you turn around. Behind you stands a pretty woman in a sweater. Natural beauty, yes, this is exactly what I need. You shudder seeing the weird woman reaching to her pocket and grabbing a nasty looking knife. Pretty face. Mind if I borrow it? Oh, god damn it. Here I am, I'm gonna get into a fight. Yep. Okay. 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 So I do remember the gist of... They recommended running away, but the invisible web prevents you from running from this encounter. That was a lot of the things that they said in the, um, the tips. Is like, if you can avoid fights, try and avoid fights. But I can't do that, so I'm just gonna have to, uh... So I'm going to dodge. Oh, shoot. Right, I don't have a weapon. Okay. Let's go. Okay. That's just- Oh, God, she cut me with the knife. That's something I, I found is I missed a lot. Like, my person is not very good at fighting. Enemy roars in rage. Okay, so something that I can do is look for an improvised weapon. 
So there's not really much else I can do in this case. Okay, I'll do... I'll, I'll meditate, I guess. There's not really much I can do. And then I'll do a kick. Oh shit, okay. What have you done? My face, it's ruined! You punch aspiring model, minus two health. Aspiring model scratches you. Enemy roars in rage. Okay, so I've got cuts on my face, cool. But, I did find a broken bottle, so let's go ahead. We are going to equip you. So at least I've got a weapon now. So what we're gonna do... ...is prepare attack. And we're gonna do a strong attack. And... is there anything else I can do here? Okay, I can do another one. So let's just go. Let's go full offense. Alright, cool. Stab, stab, stab. But I got cut with the knife. Okay, so she's got 10 HP left. Damn. Alright. So we're gonna dodge. I always find it's best pr to prepare for the attack, because I miss every time if I don't prepare my attack first. And I actually dodge an attack. Amazing. Okay, so she's got 7 HP. So my thing is always just like, dodge. And then prepare attack. And strike. Okay, she's down to four. So I'm just gonna go for it at this point. I'm not even gonna bother with def- Oh shit, I've only got one stamina? Oh fuck, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die! <laughs> okay. So, never mind. I'm gonna have to dodge. I didn't realize how low my health was. This might- uh, I might already be finishing this, uh... The scenario very quickly. Prepare. Go. Oh, you will die at the beginning of your next encounter. Fuck. Okay, but she's only got one HP, so I'm just gonna go for it. Go, go, go. Kill, kill. There we go. Woo! Woo! I've got minus three stamina. I don't even know how that's possible, but okay. I got lucky earrings, which did not seem worth it. I would have definitely run from that fight if I could have. Oh, damn it. But I died anyway. Okay. Resisting the unknown horror was taking its toll on your health. Weakened, you finally succumb to your injuries alone. As the dust settles upon your open eyes, reality starts to crumble. The old god is ready to return once more. Ah, well, that's about how I expected it to go. <laughs> so it's like I defeated her, I got a lot of experience, and then just died right after. So, uh, okay. We're gonna give this another go. Of course, I'm not gonna let it end like this. Don't expect me to actually be able to finish one of these scenarios, but I'm at least going to do a couple of playthroughs. And if you guys like this and you want to see me keep trying, I can definitely maybe do, like, occasionally I'll come back and I'll do, you know, like, one-off Let's Plays of this. Because I'm enjoying it. As frustrating as it is that I'm not good at this game, I am having fun with it. Alright, let's try it again. And the thing I've learned about this is because it is randomized, like, even the tutorial was randomized, but eventually you kind of learn where certain things are, and you kind of get a little bit better each time. Although, it is very RNG-based at the, at the same time, so sometimes you can just get screwed over. Like, sometimes it's just, you don't have a good run. Okay, so here's a new one. I like how there's a new rule each time, like there's, with this one, resting at home raises doom. That's okay, that's so much better than before where I could not run from fights, because, like, I would have been able to keep going if I'd just been able to run away from her. Banished to the other dimension long ago, Goizo has found a way to use mirrors to ensnare and teleport its prey straight through the glass. Glimpses of horror lurking behind your reflection are just the beginning. Alright. Already I'm feeling a little bit better about this, the fact that I can run from fights now. So as always, we're gonna check first, and see if there's anything... Ah, except this time. Is there any items that I can grab here? Like, everything is pretty much randomized. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's a bummer. 
But on the negative side, I don't have an item I can start with, so... I love, like, it's amazing. It's amazing that, like, every time it randomizes. Like, it's, this is such a well-done game. There's just so much variety to it. So, vicious verses of a violent vigil, freaky feature of found footage, macabre memoir of morbid mermaids, spine-chilling story of school scissors. So, that was what I played for the, so maybe I'll do that one because I actually played that in the tutorial. So, I've got a little bit of experience with this one. Another boy from your school has disappeared. Rumor has it a terrible woman has returned from the grave. A woman with the widest smile and the sharpest scissors. You knew your friend was up to something when he left you his notebook full of cryptic notes. I can send her back where she belongs, he claimed. After he disappeared too, you decided to study the notebook for clues. It details a ritual that can stop the wicked woman once and for all. What's the worst that could happen? All right, your missing friend has left you a notebook. If the rumors are true to stop the tall woman with scissors, you'll need to perform a ritual to force her material form to appear in our dimension. Accomplishing this requires first the drawing of an eldritch, eldritch sigil and then the lighting of holy candles. You can only hope your friend has left them somewhere around the school. So, something that I know right away is to check out the school lockers. Because right here, we're going to have a bat. The bat always seems to show up in the same place. So, hell yeah. We are definitely going to equip you. And the other one, this one requires a key, and then when you open this thing up, uh, that's there. Um, doesn't really seem to do anything, but I figured I'd show it to you guys. Okay, so we're going to go back. We are going to explore the school. Alright, the door shouldn't be there. It shouldn't lead anywhere. More importantly, it shouldn't pull you in. So this is, this is new. Like I said, even with the tutorial, I played it like three times and I had something different happen each time. So let's try and resist. You force yourself to leave the mysterious door behind. Minus two stamina. Okay, the gym. I've, I haven't been to the gym yet. So you stumble upon the computer room. This is a good opportunity to check the school's database to look for anything that might help your investigation. Let's check it out. Uh, knowledge check fail. You find a curious folder containing pictures. With rising horror, you discover you're in every one of them. The last photo shows a smiling man standing over your bed. Cool. This is going well. I need to find those items soon. Ah. Something is wrong. Instead of a clear blue sky, you see the bloated corpse of a long-forgotten deity looming over the school's roof. The barrier between worlds is coming apart. You must hurry or risk being noticed by whatever other elder horrors still lurk here. So let's run. Strength check. Success. You succeed in grabbing the backpack and return to the staircase leading back to our world. Plus 10 experience. Damn! That went well. Sweet. Okay. So you found blessed chalk, which you can use to draw the sigil in your ritual. You copy the sigil as best as you can on the blackboard. Hopefully it'll be enough. Now this was the mistake I made in the first one. Was... I need to check my inventory. Uh, where's my inventory? Because there's actually a picture in the notebook that was left behind. That shows you what the picture looks like. So this is what it's supposed to- and it changes each time. And I didn't check that, so the sigil was wrong when I got to the end of, uh, of this scenario and she killed me. Because I wasn't able to um, banish her away. So, let's go back. So this one's fairly easy. So you go here and you gotta change it. So it was that. Okay, I gotta check the diary again, damn it. Okay, so there we go. So there's the line straight across. There we go. So that should be right. So now I still need to get the candles. Gotta keep exploring. Uh-oh, suddenly everything slows to a crawl. Oh boy, this is new. This is new. Okay, you take a warning swing preparing for combat. Will I be able to run? Let's see if I can run. And assuming I can't run... Okay, I guess running is the only thing I can do, so let's hope I can get away. Okay, cool. You successfully run from Time Warper. Oh, the sound of scissors is getting louder. You must hurry. I'm trying. I'm trying. I still need the candles. 
Oh, okay, the pool, the pool. Okay, the pool's empty at this hour. It's dark, but you could swear something suddenly moved under the surface of the water. Okay, let's check out the lockers. Someone left their wallet in one of the open lockers. Cool. You found the holy candles in your friend's backpack. You lit them as instructed by the notebook. Everything is ready for the ritual. Okay, this actually didn't go too badly. So let's perform the ritual. Wait, what's that? You take a step back as a writhing, amorphous mass slowly takes shape. Soon it becomes a tall, woman-like creature with three faces, all connected by a wide smile. Now it is your chance to fight and defeat this horror. It is also your only chance. Alright, let's do it. Twitching and tw uh, Twisting and twitching, the demon woman enters the classroom, cackling menacingly. Am I beautiful? Okay, so you know, even though it feels like I did everything right, I could still fuck up here, so I have to be very careful. Because she is strong. So we gotta dodge. Attack with your weapon. So do I- can I prepare? And then... Prepare your attack. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. Let's do it. Hope for the best. You bash Scissor Woman. Scissor Woman raises her scissors. Oh, and I got stabbed. Okay. So let's try again. So we're gonna dodge. Okay, I'm just gonna kick, I guess, maybe. Because it allows me to prepare my thing. Okay, ooh, shit. Oh, wow, she really got me there. Wow, that knocked me down like half health. Okay, you feel your cheeks split in half. You sustain a new injury, slit mouth. Slizzer, uh, scissor woman raises her scissors. Whew, damn, all right. So maybe what we'll do is we'll brace for impact. Although that seemed to be a pretty big move there, so... And then I'll just attack with the weapon. She's still got 14 HP. I, I, like... Damn, okay. Oh boy, oh boy. Alright. I've only got 8. 8 physical, 7 mental left, so... So dodge... The thing about this is you just gotta try and be careful. Do boost. And let's go. Oh boy, down a four, down a four, but she's at six. Shit, okay. Now here's the tricky part. Oh, I wish I had some healing items. I wish I had some healing items. Okay, so six HP. So I'm like, do I just go for it? Six damage. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it, because I can take her out right now. So prepare your attack. Next attack is guaranteed to hit. So if I can get her here, it's over. Right? I want to make sure I got that right. <laughs> okay, prepare attack. Strong attack. Is there anything I can do after? Oh, okay, let's do this. So this one, meditate. Regain one reason. Oh no, that's gonna cost two stamina. No, I can't afford that. So we're just gonna do what I was gonna do before, which is just to just take her out right now. So let's go. Oof, there we go. Woo! Right, right at the end. Woof. Just, just managed to do it. Ancient horror lies dead on the classroom floor, slowly dissolving into nothingness. You find your friend gravely wounded but alive. You help him, and you limp away from the school as the police sirens get louder. Yeah. I am not in good shape. I am not in good shape, but at least I managed to do one. Scissor Woman is gone for good, or is it? You shudder knowing the urban legend will inspire another kid in another city to try and summon the Eldritch Being. So I got plus 30 experience, minus 3 doom, plus 1 reason and stamina, and plus 1 day. Alright, so let's see what the new effect is here. Oh, cut off from the outside world. The whole town stopped receiving any outside signal. It must be the ra uh, it must be the radio mass failure. <sighs> all right, I gotta figure out what this key's all about. Definitely taking a bath. I am in uh, bad shape. The shower will help you calm you down and do wonders for sore muscles. What temperature should you set it on? I definitely need extra stamina. So there we go. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So what is this key all about? Can I get anything here? 
Still nothing, huh? Okay, let's check the... Oh yeah, you can't get any signal from the outside world. What is happening? So that's really cool. Like before the TV was on, I could make phone calls. Maybe if I had a number. But now I can't, so... Ah, <sighs> still not doing great. My face is still fucked, <laughs> but... So I definitely need to see if I can go to the um, the store and get maybe some healing items. So let's go to the town screen. Can I do anything from here? I guess not. I'm going to have to actually open up. Alright, well let's go ahead and let's investigate another mystery. Like that was a that was a something I'd done multiple times before and I still just managed to make it out. Okay, let's do Far Out Fable of a Fear Festival. Your aunt has sent you a letter inviting you to a curious sounding festival. It's held every 27 years in a small village. You don't like the sound of it, but your parents both agree you need a break from all the stress. Inside the letter there's a bus ticket. What's the worst thing that could happen? You ask yourself as you board the bus. No, no wait. No! Today's goal, explore the weird village. Just when you thought your stomach couldn't handle it anymore, the janky old bus stops at its destination. Oh, I wanted to go- Shit! I wanted to go to the store. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that anymore. You get up and take a deep breath before looking around. It's a small village, and the nearby fields are surrounded by a thick forest. Um, just when you thought you're- Okay. A fat old man wearing dusty overalls approaches you. It's the inn owner who promised to pick you up. Following close behind him, your eyes are drawn to his hands, which are so deformed they resemble claws more than hands. Okay, to progress this mystery, choose actions that will advance the clock. As you learn about the terrible secrets of this village, more actions will unlock. Oh, I really hope there's a place where I can buy some... some items. Inn's room is dusty like it hasn't seen any visitors in years. You wonder if anyone cleaned it since the last festival 27 years ago. There's a folder of available activities lying on the table. Oh. Hot spring feels great. Finally, you can relax for a bit and enjoy the warm water. Plus two stamina. Yay! <laughs> uh, but should you be rusting at all? Plus zero doom. So what else can we do? The festival nights. What happens if I relax a bit? You patch up your wounds and enjoy the nature. Plus one reason and stamina, but I plus one doom as well. It's not really going to help my face much. Enjoy the festival. Free events. Explore the weird village. Okay, let's enjoy the festival. What if the whole thing is like, I just went to the festival and nothing weird happened and I just had a good time. Mystery solved. There's still some time before the festival starts. The locals are seemingly busy setting up stands and decorating the place. Few stands are already open, but you can't shake off the feeling something is wrong. It's getting late. Ooh, buy souvenirs. Or look for friends. Because I could get an ally, but let's buy souvenirs. Yay, hello, Duggo. Happy coats. Plus one luck. Uh, plus one reason. Oh, there's those earrings that killed me in the last time. Plus two luck. Plus one stamina. Hmm. Well, my reasoning's not great. I should probably get something that's going to get my reason back up. Okay, a weird sound wakes you up. You step closer to the window and look out. You can't see anything and get ready to go back to bed when suddenly the moon comes from behind the thick clouds. Three hooded figures are standing at the forest's edge. One by one, they light their torches and disappear behind the trees. What was that about? They all wore strange masks. Should you follow them into the forest or try to find more information about the festival? Let's continue. Weird sounds coming from the forest kept you up at night. What could it mean? Yeah, we are not going into the forest right now. We're gonna... We're gonna... I'm guessing that I have a time limit. I have to do things before time runs out. But I gotta get... I gotta get myself a little bit better. 
All right. Okay, doing a little bit better. So let's check the shrine. A friend re uh, returning from a trip to Africa has invited you to dinner. This time they've outdone themselves. This is a real feast full of exotic meals. It's getting late and you can't stay for long, but the host asks if you want to take anything home with you. Uh, let's do... The wine? The steak. Let's do steak. I knew you'd like it, your friend says, winking and packing it for you. Long pig steak. Plus two stamina, plus one reason. Alright. At least I've got some healing items. Something is watching you from behind the trees. Okay, let's see if we can look for friends. Hey, Doggo! You stumble into your friend, Dog. I need to move some stuff. Can you help? Minus three stamina. Ah. Oh, Doggo. I'm sorry. I can't. I, I have to be careful with my stamina. But he's probably going to give me a good item. I'm sorry. Going back to the inn, you overhear two mass villagers. They're talking about something awakening at the next dawn. You wonder what's up with that. It's not safe here. You decide to block entrance to your room with a nightstand. Festival is ending tomorrow and you can't be too careful. Okay, I gotta like... <laughs> I gotta do some stuff. I've just been relaxed. I've been treating this like an actual like vacation. Alright, let's go into the... Uh, let's, let's go. Against my better judgment, I'm going out into the forest. A sudden storm forces you to find shelter in a nearby cave. Looking around, you discover strange markings on the cave's wall. Oh no, the flashlight! Shoot, that was- I had that in the last one. Okay, that didn't go so well. Shoot. Let's go to the village. Investigating fields. In an otherwise bleak village, you look of the most beautiful flower patch surprises you. As you get closer to compliment the gardener, you stop hearing weird sniffling sounds. Oh boy. Sniffling gardener. Okay, 19 HP. Ooh. I feel like I haven't really done anything in this one, but I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. Why is it so quiet all of a sudden? I didn't do anything in this one. This one was a bust. Is that blood? Where is everybody? Today's goal, find the missing people. Trail of blood and sickly smelling sludge leads to an outskirt of the village. Somewhere in the dark, uh, in the dark forest, there's an answer waiting for you. Okay, four actions until sunrise. Well, there's not really much I can do, is there? Let's hope that I am well prepared, but I know I'm not. You try to avoid mirrors, afraid of what could be waiting for you on the other side. Oh, there's another one over here. Rest at camp. Well, we're just gonna keep going, because there's not much time I've got. Um, I didn't do anything. While wandering through the woods, you discover strange carvings on one of the trees, and by the look of them, they were made recently. Could they be connected with the current mystery? Hey, I actually succeeded. You're certain the missing people were here. You're on the right trail. I think I'm gonna fail this one, because I haven't really done anything. Walking through the forest, you spot a pair of legs sticking out of a bush. Before you can do anything, however, they twitch and move. Ooh, Bark Woman. Can I just keep running? Like, I, at some point, I'm, I assume I'm gonna get to a point where I have to defeat, defeat the quote-unquote boss. But, I mean, I'm gonna keep escaping if I can help it. You start to recognize some of the paths and rocks you see earlier. All right, this is my last, uh, this is my last thing I can do. You discover an old campsite located on the edge of a small clearing. The tent has been knocked down and the food and utensils have been scattered everywhere. All right, let's investigate the ground for clues. Perception check, success. Footprints and tracks suggest a fight. The owner of the tent must have been dragged by two unknown attackers into the woods. All right, an abandoned factory. This must be the place they took everyone. The sun is slowly rising as you get closer to the abandoned industrial building. Cautiously entering the factory, you can't help but notice the forest got totally silent. Oh boy. You were not only- you were not the only one trying to stop the ritual and save your friends. Special forces have raided the occult hideout, arresting the suspects. Let outside, the handcuffed cult leader suddenly stops. You are too late, they say in a raspy voice. Our lord is free once more. 
Okay, well, that didn't end up very well. At least I don't think so. <laughs> Later that day, after an interrogation, detectives let you go free. Festival guests are still missing to this day. You bore the old bus wondering what exactly happened out there. So I went to the festival and did absolutely nothing. I, hang out, I hung out with the dog. I went to the onsen a lot. Um, that was pretty much it. <laughs> I didn't solve shit. Alright, the air feels heavy, making it hard to breathe. Okay. And there's another- there's another small key, but I'm just like... I don't- I, I know I keep saying it, but I don't know what the key is for, and it's driving me crazy. Alright, there we go. We got some reason back. Probably still, yep, still nothing on the TV as expected. Against my better judgment, I'm gonna take a look through the peephole again. There's that dude again. Oh, I've got enough experience to level up. How do I? I've never actually gotten to the point where I can level up. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Level up. There we go. Heck yeah. You've advanced to the next experience level. Choose one perk and one stat upgrade. Okay. Available perks, folklore studies, running shoes, and art knowledge. I hope it's going to tell me what they are. Okay. Plus one knowledge. Knowledge of various rituals and regional myths. Smaller doom penalty for running from combat. Okay, definitely that because I run a lot. Because I'm a big coward. So there we go. We're going to do that. Let's do plus four stamina, and let's go up on perception, I guess. There we go. Okay, let's check out- I'm surprised that I'm still alive. I don't think I'm doing well, but I'm still alive, so that's cool. So let's do the vicious verses of a violent vigil. You received an official looking letter. What does a law firm from Tokyo want from you? We regret to inform you of the passing of our client and your grand uncle. His funeral will be preceded by an overnight vigil as per the client's request. There's an address in the list of people expected to arrive. You don't recognize any of the names. Intrigued, you decide to check it out yourself. What's the worst thing that could happen? Following the direction from the letter, you slowly find your way through the overgrown forest patch. The old mansion looks like it was torn down and rebuilt many times, but where is everyone? Tip, explore mansion actions will unlock new locations and progress the mystery. It looks like one of the previous owners of this mansion liked to read. Dusty tomes reach the ceiling. You don't have much time, but maybe you could spare some to look through the books? Uh, let's start with the shelves. Yay! Perception check. Success. The books are covered with a thick layer of dust, however, you notice one tome must have been placed here recently. From it, you learn about distant worlds and bizarre rituals. Oh, I got a spell! Sweet! Okay, I knew about the spells, but I'm just like, oh, awesome. It takes you some time, but finally you manage to find someone. Is that another guest? You should ask them what's going on here. Four actions on the right allow you to investigate the location and interact with it. Okay. Who's that? A pair is standing next to the window. The man is muttering something to himself while his wife is observing you with her unnaturally bulgy eyes. The body is laid in the master bedroom. You should pay him your respects. Walking through the forest, you spot a pair of legs sticking out of a bush before you can do a how anything however they twitch and move. Oh boy, man-eating plant. 18 HP. Eh, uh, nope, we are gonna... We're just gonna mosey on over this way. Pressing the handkerchief to your nose, you enter the dark room. There's no way they allowed your grand-uncle to just lie here. What was the correct bow and clap order? Maybe other guests will know? Oh, dilapidated corridor... So, maybe if I do this wrong, maybe if I do the bow and clap wrong, something bad's gonna happen, so I think I'm gonna avoid that for now. As you return to the corridor, you notice another family member has arrived. You notice all guests are studying small cards. You should ask them about it. A 
pair of standing neck. Okay, you didn't get this with a letter. Here, you can have mine. A muscular man is eyeing you as you take a, as you take a step towards him. You can't help but notice a dark scar or a deep scar going across his cheek. <laughs> hey, samezies, samezies. Um. <laughs> Soda Mora nervously scratches his scar. Oh, I've got the vigil pamphlets. Okay, here we go. We would like to thank you on behalf of our client for participating in this vigil on such short notice. He was a spiritual person and left instructions we are asking you to follow closely. 9 p.m. start a vigil. 10 p.m. pray over the body. Clap, 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 bow. 11 p.m. light fireplace. 12 a.m. pray over body. Clap, 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 clap. Okay, I'm gonna write this down. I'm gonna write this down. So at 10... It's clap, 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 bow. At 12, it's clap, 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 clap. 1 a.m., nothing. 2 a.m., burn an envelope found in the study. 3 a.m., cover the mirror in the storage room. 4 a.m., nothing. 5 a.m., end of the vigil. Okay. Okay, so it is 10 p.m. now. Oh, shoot, so I missed... Did I miss it? Oh, no, I have time. Okay, so let's go... So we want to go to the master bedroom. So it's 10 p.m. right now, right? So it's clap, 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 bow. Bow. So there we go. We did that. Let's take a look at his foot. There's a weird symbol tattooed on the man's toe. You copy it onto your pamphlet. It's, this is really cool. It is like a mystery. It's like you have to get clues and you have to refer back to them. It's really old school. Even though I'm not used to these types of games, I kind of dig it. So there we go, I did that right. So let's go and explore some more. The round window of the Crooked Manor Tower is calling you. You feel as your strength drain away as you stare at the bright lights. Fight the feeling. Charisma check, fail. You don't have the strength to move a finger. The blinding light is growing larger and larger. To your shock, you can't feel the ground under your feet. Uh-oh. Lost in time and space, you drift into nothingness until something pulls you towards the light. Oh boy, whoa. The temperature abruptly drops and you shudder in the icy cold. You find yourself in the middle of a snowy wasteland. A sudden gust flings you to your knees. You inhale deeply, feeling your chest tighten and ache. Your fingers and ears are already numb and freezing. You have to move. <laughs> Give up. Uh, let's check... I feel like they want me to go to the pyramid. Let's check the coast. Damn it. Reception check fail. Countless corpses of a long-gone tribe are encased in the ice. Their eyes follow your every move. Damn. Alright, that didn't go over so well. And I've got frostbite. Cool. Minus two strength. I've got two slit mouths, apparently. Oh, light the... Ah, shoot. Um, where's my items? Okay, so it's 11 p.m. 11 p.m., we need to light the fireplace. What? Perception check failed. You couldn't find any firewood to add to the fireplace. Minus one stamina. Damn it. This isn't gonna work. Okay. Let's go to the storage room. You shudder instantly recognizing the room from a newspaper... Uh, photo. Three years ago, a man hanged himself here. Why is a vigil held in a place like this? There's a thing about avoiding mirrors. Like, don't look at mirrors. Um, is there nothing? I think there's another clue where it said if you press Z, it will show you everything that you can check, but there's nothing here I can check. Oh, right here. Check the wardrobe. You found a new item, meat cleaver. Sweet, that will be nice. I was kind of hoping, I i mean, I was hoping for something I could burn, but... Should I explore? I guess let's, ex maybe let's talk to the people first. This reminds me of one of my books. And this guy just still scratching his scar. Okay, let's explore the mansion. Hopefully I can find some firewood. Following a suspicious person, you enter an old runaway, uh, run-down mansion room. It stinks like spoiled milk and has only two doors, one of which you came through. You don't see the strange man anywhere. Let's search the room. There's nothing really important here, but you think you might be able to use the one item you do find. Plus item. Oh, okay. Uh, item added to storage. 
Um, okay, where's my storage? Shoot. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? Oh, I should've, okay. Do I have my, st okay, there we go. So let's go ahead and use this now because my reason is pretty bad. And then that way we can go into, okay, we'll place the item. Where? How do I get to my storage though? I think the storage you can only get to in certain... This is one thing I should have checked, is I don't know how to get to storage. I think storage you have to go into, like, the main... Um, like, once you're in the overview of the world, I think that's the only way you can get into the storage, if I'm not mistaken. So it's 12 a.m. I've got to pray over the body again, so you have to clap, 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 clap. So let's go ahead and do that now. Oh, that's bugging me so bad. Oh, the body, it's missing. Shit. Is it because I didn't, uh, turn on the fireplace? Uh-oh. Okay, where is everybody? Oh, I don't like this music, though. Study. It seems that someone has already removed all the furniture from this room. The overgrown plant is casting an unsettling shadow. Uh, let's go ahead and equip you. Because I feel like I'm going to need you soon. Is there anything I can do here? Uh, the body's missing. Dilapidated quarter. Everyone. Okay, so let's explore the mansion some more. So this is the one thing I'm annoyed about is I don't know how to get to my storage because I don't know what the I what that item was. All right. While you walk through the crowded space, someone bumps into you and quickly apologizes. Perception check success. They stole your wallet. You quickly grab their arm and they drop it before disappearing into the crowd. That's rad, bitch. You manage to find one of the guests. They are shaken, but otherwise safe. You both decide to get the hell out of this place, but the door is gone. Alright, well these guys are oddly calm about it. Okay, let's explore some more. The whole building begins to shake as you enter the room. Suddenly, a stone pillar bursts through the room where you just stood seconds ago. Noticing the arcane symbols painted on the stone, you take a step closer. Let's study the symbols. Knowledge check fail. You try to recognize the symbols, but they shift and change right before your eyes. Dizzy, you escape the room as blood oozes from your nose. Oh boy, I've got like no reason left. Shit. Corridors twist and turn, trapping you in this mansion. You think you hear the other guests somewhere, and but should you risk getting lost yourself? Ah, these guys again. I need somebody different. Okay, is there anything different? Oh, 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 kill them, kill them, kill them. Oh, hi. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get out of there. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Okay. Woo! Alright, I guess we're just gonna explore some more then. Oh, I really wish I had something for my reason, because I feel like I'm about to lose it soon. Dis oh. Despite your best efforts, you feel like the neighborhood is starting to change. Location's threat level increases. Oh, bad feeling. You stumble upon Sotomura first, furiously scratching his scar. With each motion, he gets a little deeper. With each motion, more blood appears. With each motion, he takes a step towards you. Oh, cool. Oh, I found a new item. The flashlight. Okay, so there it tells me there. Oh, the flashlight would be very helpful right now, but I don't know how to get to my storage, which sucks. Okay. Oh, I've got a spell, don't I? Absorb. What does this do? Deals two damage, gains... Oh, but it costs four reason. It'd be nice if it was the other way around. I can... I can get away with a little bit of my stamina, but I've got no reason that I can, uh... I have a feeling I'm probably not going to be able to run from this guy, so let's... Dodge. So I... I'm equipped with the meat cleaver, which should do some do good damage, I would think. Okay, okay. Down to 10 HP for him. So dodge. Attack boost. Go. Okay. 
Okay, I'm down eight, but he's only, he's down six. I'm, I'm whittling him down. We got this. I think, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. I can't get too complacent. And I dodged the attack. Sweet. All right. I'm doing all right, actually. Okay, we can just go for this. We can, we can do this right now. Sweet. As the vigil is nearing its end, the whole mansion shakes more and more until the walls start to collapse, revealing the shocking truth about your whereabouts. Whoa. Walls of the corridor collapse, revealing an alien landscape. You can taste blood in your mouth as the slimy, slimy appendages slowly get closer. A voice in your head tells you what to do. Sacrifice the guest. Okay, I guess I gotta sacrifice the guest then. An unseen force leads your hand. You reach for a knife and stab a surprise guest. Conclude the ritual. Alright. The price is paid. A voice booms in your head as everything gets dark. When you wake up, you find yourself lying on the wet grass. The old mansion nowhere to be seen. Standing next to you is a naked, bloated old man. You recognize the tattoo on the man's toe. It's your deceased granduncle. With a coarse voice, he explains the ritual. You try to keep up with him, but you're weak and your head spins. The death, pull, the death toll must remain the same. Two die and two survive. You feel like vomiting as the old man who has cheated death disappears behind trees. Everything gets dark. The man who you thought was your uncle has cheated death, making you an accessory to murders. You know police officers won't believe you when you tell them the truth and do your best to forget the nightmares you left behind. Alright, <laughs> ending C. So, I, I killed some people. Cool. Cool. But I'm still alive. Barely. But I'm still alive. Dangerous bands of riders are gathering around downtown areas. The police are hopeless. Oh, does that mean I'm not going to be able to go to the, uh, shit. Um, the place with the Duggle where I can buy some items. So I'm kind of fucked. Okay. We are definitely going to be taking a bath. And we are definitely going to be getting our reasoning up. I'm surprised I'm still alive, though. Ooh, what happens if I tick peep through the peephole? You don't see anything weird. Okay, we gotta go, and here we go. So the storage, it looks like I, I have to get to my storage once I'm at home. I can't access it otherwise. So now I've got a flashlight. So that's good. I'm not doing terrible, other than, like, my fucked up mouth. But, like... My reason and stamina actually aren't too bad right now. This is definitely the best I've done so far. So let's go in here and start a new mystery. Freaky feature of found footage. Three students disappeared in the process of making a documentary about local folklore and legends of the nearby forest. Now on the first anniversary of the events, a suspicious man has started asking questions. He claims to be a private investigator hired by the parents of the students. Except the parents of your friends didn't hire him. Who is he, and what did the students discover out there? Alright, three students disappeared in the process of making a documentary. Maybe you'll find a clue about their last known whereabouts in the school's newspaper. Investigate the school, library, schoolyard. Let's check the li- oh, study the current mystery, doom, spells, costume to enter, recruit allies. Ooh, let's do that. Let's see if we can get- oh, hell yeah! Hell yeah, I can get an ally. This is great. This is great. Sweet. Latest gossip. She hasn't come to school since last week. Asked to join you. Observe. Taro is staring at the clouds. They look like heads. They look fine. Share a creepy story. Five experience. Taro sees, seems visibly shaken by your story. It's just a story, right? Have you heard about this computer program that... Doi is waiting for class to begin. There's something off about them. So there we go. So if I keep sharing freaky stories, I get more experience. That's good. If 000 didn't do those drawings, then who did? Kyrie is staring at the clouds. Okay... Oh, forced to help you, damn. Recently, the tap water in my entire neighborhood started tasting weird. Almost like... Chiharu is waiting for class to begin. Okay. Uh... Is there a way that I can see stats? Or, uh, do I just pick at random? 
Let's... We'll get her. We'll get, um... The girl. I will help you. Sweet. There we go. I got an ally. Great. So let's investigate the school. I will absolutely use you as a sacrifice if need be. Oh no, I got cursed. Your reflection twists and shimmers when you're not looking at it directly. Goizo is getting closer. And I know curses, you can't do anything about them. Shit. Shit. Oh, each day more holes appear. Cool. The notes mention a village not far from town. You decide to take a bus. Getting closer, you can't help but notice a large number of trees that have suddenly died. What happened here? So we gotta investigate downtown. She's just walking around in her swimsuit. The roads seem to twist and turn when you're not looking, trapping you in the neighborhood. Ah, oh, you spend hours trying to find a way out. Finally, completely exhausted, you end up on the main street as the passage to the blighted neighborhood slowly closes behind you. Everyone in this village is unsettlingly, unsettlingly friendly. Unsettlingly friendly. An old farmer points you to the old stone. The missing group supposedly started their forest trip there. <gasps> Shop for items! Oh, hello, Doggo. Hello, hello, hello. Random discounted item. Oh, man. My dude, it would be really nice if you had something that would help me with uh, other things, but... Let's get the backpack, though. There we go. Especially if I'm going to be somewhere where I'm not going to be able to store things for a while, so... Okay, let's go to the village. Investigate the village. An old priest is performing a ritual to appease a local demon imprisoned underground. You're invited to join them. Uh, I must say no. Old man frowns and walks away. Looking back one last time, you continue, continue deeper into the forest. Oh, click a square to explore it. Okay. So I'm just walking around, waiting for something to happen here. In the forest, you hear faint wisp- Oh no, I gotta help the dog, guys. I gotta help the dog. Hopefully this will be a Resident Evil 4 situation. The dog will come back later and help me. You hear faint whimpering in the distance. When we find it, you discover a wild dog held by the hind leg in a bear trap. The dog growls menacingly when you get closer. <laughs> I'm gonna help him. Yay! Ally! Yes. Sweet. Always help dogs in trouble because it will never, it will never work out badly for you. You free the injured dog. Thankfully, the animal follows you. This is great. Yay! <laughs> oh, this makes me feel better. Drooping tree branches hang over the path, framing it in an almost macabre way. It's almost inspiring. Get a grip, girl. You quicken your pace and leave the menacing path. Oh shit, minus one reason. Really could use something to help with my reason right now. A parasitic organism burrows under the bark, undulating slowly. Oh no, the steak knife! <gasps> I could have bought that. Investigates. Oh, here we go. Knowledge check. Success. All nearby trees are connected underground. The main branch leads east. You make a mental note to avoid the region. Okay, so don't go east. More. So we're going to stay away from east. Oh, I discovered white sands? You follow the faint sound to a telephone line pole. The moment you notice giant hairy ball underneath it, they start to twitch and rise. Ooh. Man, though, it's like, even with these, like, this very old school style of, um, you know, like, the visuals, it's still really creepy. Like, they did a really good job with getting that kind of Jinji Ito style with, like, basically 32 bits. Uh, we're gonna run. I hadn't even thought about the spiritual actions. Part of a ritual. Oh, okay, interesting. Even if you don't get it right, you'll be provided with a hint. Bow. Huh. Regains one stamina, costs two reason. God damn, why can't I have something that costs stamina and gives me reason? <laughs> That's what I need. But right now, we're just gonna run. We're gonna run. All the paths look the same. Are you lost? 
You are investigating Desperate Solution. A woman bumps into you as she runs from a beauty parlor. Before you can say anything, you notice her face. She's carved out her own eyes. If I can't see it, she cries. It can't see me, right? You shudder, seeing a faint vision of Goizo reflected in the beauty parlor's mirrors. Minus two stamina. Damn. Damn, alright. Dark forces. Oh shit, scheme against you. You don't know who you can trust anymore. Curse. God damn it. Stalker. Someone is following you. Ugh. <laughs> I'm not doing so well. I was doing okay, and now everything I run into is bad. The rumored witch house seems empty. In the basement, however, you find a camera pointed at the large hole in the ground. On the table next to the camera, you see three cassettes, each titled after one of your missing friends. Then you hear a curious sound coming from the hole. I've learned with holes, there's going to be a spider in there. I don't need a bite on top of everything else. Take the cassettes and run. Not being able to deal with it, you decide to grab the tapes and run. You wander aimlessly through the forest for a few hours until you are found by a search party. You lead them to the house, but the door to the basement is missing. So, like, here's the thing, as I manage to escape each time, but I don't really feel like I'm solving any of the mysteries, which kind of stinks. More holes are spreading on your body, minus two stamina. Oh, great. Uh, to gain a new level, press the flashing button. Oh, experience. There we go. Get my experience up. Level up. Or not? I can't level up? It's not... Oh. Hmm. Hold up. Oh, here we go. Okay, quick thinking. Plus one dexterity. Discipline. Regain one stamina for all past event skill checks. Faster offensive. Okay, let's do the discipline. Once again, I would be nice to have the reason instead, but we're gonna do we're gonna do that one. Uh, we're definitely gonna get our reason back up. And let's do Let's do knowledge. Go up on that. There we go. Oh, I can't go home anymore. Oh shit. You found a new item, forest tapes. It's added to your inventory or to your storage. Contaminated water, there's something wrong with tap water. It's black and oily and glistening, smelling like death. You hope it's just a temporary- Okay, so that means I'm not gonna be able to take baths anymore. Shit. I'm not even gonna- I'm not gonna risk it, because I feel like that's telling me right there, do not do that. Okay, access storage, forest tapes. Contaminated water, riots, fetid fumes, cut off from the outside world. Just having a great, grand old time here. So I really don't feel like there's much I can do at this point if I can't I can't even take baths anymore. But we're almost done. I'm, I'm almost done. I'm in real bad shape, but I'm almost done. But this is the one that killed me last time, so it's not giving me a lot of hope. But at least I can go and I can get some items, thankfully. Oh, compass. Yes, they said compass was good to have. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do the compass. Oh, shoot, but I can't... Backpack. Um, do I not have... let me see... storage... item storage... You know what? It's This is my last thing, you might as well do it, right? Maybe? Yeah, let's just do a surprise discount item. <laughs> An empty bottle, which I cannot fill with water because the water is bad. Cool. Okay, what I will do, though, is I'm gonna eat this now. Adds new status. Probably not gonna be good, I'm guessing. Hunger? What? Oh, no. <laughs> Minus one. They look tasty. Oh, cool. So, it put a new curse on me. Ugh. Okay, so I'm gonna travel back home. So what I'm going to do is take the compass, I'm going to put...
I'm gonna put that away. So I've got the flashlight, I've got the bats. All right, I think we're good now. Am I able to rest? Can I rest? All right, certainly feels good to be back at home. You swallow the painkillers. Your phone, you phone your best friend to talk about unrelated. Well, I can't phone her because isn't, uh, am I not allowed to? Aren't all like the electronics cut off right now? Time flies by so fast you prepare yourself to leave and continue your long investigation plus five doom. Shoot, okay. Is there anything I can grab from? I, this is actually my first time being in this part of the game, so maybe there's something I can grab. Guess not. How is my doom anyway? I'm like, where is my- oh, my doom's at 70%. Oof. I gotta be careful. Damn, because doesn't it- once it hits 100%, like, isn't that automatic game over? Okay, I gotta be more careful about that stuff. At least I still have my allies, so that's good. Suddenly, an empty bottle breaks on the wall behind you. You cover yourself from the glass fragments and notice a masked assailant holding a baseball bat. A rioter. Well, we can easily run from you. You're just a person. We're good. Alright, asking around the neighborhood got you some results. It seems that all the girls have attended the same school. The corridor is flooded by a black sludge that's slowly oozing from under the door to the chemistry classrooms. A damp, moldy stench grows as you get close- Oh my god, the empty bottle! <laughs> the thing I just got rid of! Because I didn't think I was going to need it. Oh my god! How are you going to get to the other side? Ugh, I literally just had that. Literally just had that. Better safe than sorry, you take the stairs up to another floor to avoid the stud. Oh no, I'm at 77% doom! Oh, I gotta finish this up fast. I'm so close. I'm so close. This is the last one. This is the last one. You carefully enter the biology classroom. The room seemed empty at first until you switched the lights on. You gasp in horror. Lying in a pool of blood is one of the teachers with a fruit knife in their hands. There's a jar of form uh, formaldehyde on the nearest table. Mesmerized by the spiral pattern on the sea creature's skin, you step over the dead body and come closer. And then the voices start. Ooh, 20 HP. Whoo! Yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna run from you. Sorry, guys. I know it's kind of lame that I'm, like, running from everything, but I really... I, I, I can't. Uh, but every time I run, the doom goes up as well. I'm at 81% doom. Ugh. You find a handwritten uh, notebook containing handwritten and detailed notes about the swimming club itself and mermaids? So you have to investigate the seaside location twice. Wait, why did I go to the morbid school? Why did I do that? Ah! A nauseating stench stops you. Someone has scattered rotting fish guts everywhere and hung up countless fish heads. You cover your mouth as you slowly retreat. A vast flock of seagulls outside viciously attack the windows. Alright, whoever the kidnapper may be, they seem to be really obsessed about mermaids. Inside the, lo the science lab, you find a plan of the town's sewer system. Someone has marked a path leading from the sea directly to the school building. Oh boy, oh boy. Alarmed by the sound of glass breaking, you discover the corpse of a policeman lying in a pool of blood. It looks like someone or something tore out his throat. Ooh, steal his gun. He won't be- oh, jeez, minus three reason? Damn, he won't be needing it for sure. Oh, and I can't even get it! Because once again, <laughs> it's in my storage. So I just- I, I, I just wasted that. And oh my gosh, I gotta remember about that. Even with my backpack, it's just like, my goodness. Oh, wait, did I just put that in storage too? Item storage, here we go. Oh my gosh, okay. Police revolver. We're gonna get that. A backpack? Not enough room for an item. Watch, as soon as I put something away, I'm gonna need it. So, we're gonna put... It will surely be useful. Well, it hasn't been useful yet until I put it away. So, we are gonna put you in storage, and we're gonna take the backpack, and we're gonna put you there. Nope, oh, stop. Oh my gosh. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I, I want to investigate it, inspect it. You could fit a lot in there. Okay. Okay. I am doing real, real bad. Real bad. I should not have taken that gun. And I don't even, I, I don't even, like, 
take part into fights anyway. Why did I do that? I just got all excited about the prospect of having a gun. And that probably is going to kill me because I'm at three reason, 84% doom. Feeling like you're on the brink of losing your mind, you decide to visit your parents' old friend, Father uh, y Yagugi? <laughs> Yasugi. Hey kiddo, says the priest who's currently moving some boxes in and out of the church building. Can you lend me a hand? I'm going to say don't overwork yourself because I don't have a lot so I can do. There we go. Plus three reason, but plus two doom. You only pick up the smallest boxes, but the whole thing takes more time than you expected. Afterwards, Father Yasugi invites you inside for a cup of hot tea and home-baked cookies made by one of the parishioners. You explain your situation to him. The priest listens, letting you vent all your doubts and anxieties. Alright, you compare the sewer plan with a school map and suddenly daws dawns on you. School basement! That must be the place the kidnapper is keeping missing swimmers. But at least if I go to- if I manage to make it to the final thing, all I have to do is shoot this guy? And I'll probably be good. Plus I got my two allies, which have not really done anything for me yet. <laughs> uh, with the trail growing cold, it might be time for a different approach. Could a similar case have occurred in the past? A trip to the library might be a good idea. Alright, let's study issues of local newspapers. Oh boy, plus five doom. Damn. Knowledge check fail. It was a complete waste of time. You spent the whole day reading about cute dogs, giant vegetables, and the occasional accident. You find nothing related to the case at hand. Oh boy, there's no turning back now. God, let's hope she's alright. Alright, let's go. You bust through the door to the janitorial closet, but it's too late. The latest missing girl is lying on a dirty mattress, the upper part at least. A tail of a fish has been crudely sewed in place of her legs. She was too weak and died, you hear the mad janitor say. He looks you up and down. Maybe you'll too. Throw the other girl! She's wearing a swimsuit! She's she's made for this stuff. She's meant to be a mermaid. Alright. Stepping carefully over a corpse, the janitor picks up the bloody axe. Alright. 40 HP, but we... we got a gun. So let's equip you. Damage is only three. Ugh, damage when shot, nine. Okay. So let's... So we'll dodge. There we go. Gun. Need a firearm. Wait, I have a... I have a firearm. What? Do I not have it equipped? It's equipped, right? I- what? I- I don't understand. It's saying I need a firearm. I have one, though. It's equipped, is it not? Oh, slot A. Okay. Throw- throw it, enemy. <laughs> okay, so we are- okay, so... Can we... Uh, was I supposed to equip it before? Shit, I think I might have just fucked myself over. Eh. Slot A, meat cleaver, crude weapon. Oh, I'm so confused. You can't store items. You don't have time to change the equipment. Oh, so I can't. I should have done it before. So, well, I guess that's my first time doing this is you have to make mistakes. So I have the gun. I can't even equip it right now because I'm in combat. God damn it. I lost all that reason just to get this damn gun and I can't even use it. Oh, fuck me. I'm gonna die. This is, this is gonna be the end. Right, right at the end. Right at the end. So annoying. Alright, let's go. What, what about, uh, what about, what about, like, my allies? Are they not gonna help me at all in this fight? Like, what use are they? Oh, spiritual actions. That's right, I've got a, um, the allies and perks. The dog? Can the dog do anything? <laughs> Woof. Higher chance of finding items after combat. Send against enemy. There we go. Sorry, doggo. I'm so sorry that... Brave dog attacked mad janitor to protect you. That attack deal one damage. Uh, student F. Plus one luck. Send against enemy. Brave Kyrie attacked mad janitor. That attack did one damage. Thanks, guys. Okay. We've got my spells. Absorb. Might as well use it now, right? Oh no, it costs four reason. That's right. Shoot. It only deals two damage, too. Oh, that's nothing. Man, that's a... I can get some reason back, at least. 
It's not much, but... I just gotta keep dodging and attacking. That's all I can do. It's all I can do. Oh boy. Yep. I'm I'm dead. I'm dead. He still has 32 health. Oh, fuck. I made some stupid mistakes. Uh, I mean... Oh, and I can only use them one once in, in the fight. Alright, well... I might as well just give it everything I got. I'm gonna die anyway. Or what I'll do is I'll brace for impact. It's not much, but... Oh, I minus one. So I'm gonna die anyway. I'm gonna die anyway. At least I went down with a fight, you know? Oh, minus five. Jesus. If I just equipped the gun, I might have actually had a chance. I'll just keep bracing for impact. So I'm like past dead at this point. Like I know it's not- yeah, there we go. <laughs> right at the end. Right at the end. Resisting the unknown horror was taking its toll on your health. Weakened, you finally succumb to your injuries alone. As the dust settles upon your open eyes, reality starts to crumble. Damn it, I was so close. Ah. So, I mean, I definitely learned some lessons in this one. One, as make sure that you equip the weapon before you go into the final battle. So, that was... Ugh. That was frustrating. I, I was close. I was close to at least making it to the end. Even if I hadn't solved all the mysteries, or even some of the mysteries, at least I would have made it through. But, that's the cool thing about this game, is the fact that, you know, it's like you learn, you make mistakes, you learn, and then you go back, and hopefully you do a little bit better each time, and you learn a little bit more, because it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> Alright, so, that will wrap up this playthrough of World of Horror. Obviously, there's a lot more I can do with this, and I I would really like to play more of this, because despite how frustrating I found it at times with the RNG, and just feeling like I didn't know what I was doing wrong. There were some times I definitely knew why I was doing things wrong, but there were some times where I'm like, okay, that was a little bit of some bullshit, but that's the case with these old school games, right? It's RNG, it's like, it's random, and that's kind of what I like about it. I like the fact that each time I go into the same scenario, it's not the same. Different things happen in different um, orders and, you know, different enemies. I really like that. So, if you guys would like to see me do more of uh, this game, let me know, give the video a thumbs up, and maybe in the future I will sit down and I will play this again and hopefully make it through to the end. But I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough of World of Horror. Happy Halloween, everybody, and have a good one. Bye. Special shout out to my top tier patrons Namara Kito, Sparky, iCognito, Simon Rax, Mad Goldsmith, Harry Gaziff, and Asborn Kennedy.